What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I decided for today's video I'm gonna be doing a at-home glow up, which I know a lot of people have been doing. I just haven't been feeling like my best this week, like this past week. A lot of it probably due to the fact that my period is coming. TMI, who cares? Usually when I feel this way, I like to force myself to feel better by doing my makeup, getting myself ready and cute, even if there's obviously nowhere to go. And if you would like to make this process a little bit more enjoyable, get ready along with me. Like I'm gonna be doing the whole thing. You can follow along, this video might be long i'm not sure so grab some snacks get your makeup and whatnot and let's get going first things first i have to shower because i feel gross and whenever i want to do like a big transformation and most importantly just make myself feel better like i will just shower like you won't believe how many times i showered in a day during quarantine let's not talk about it i'm also going to show you guys some new products that i got for my hair that i'm going to use homegirl is trying to get her curls back this is the newest shampoo and conditioner I got for my hair, um, recommended to me by my lovely cousin. I've only used it once and I've already seen a big difference in my hair, so loving these. And I also bought this wet brush comb to brush my hair in the shower, which also helps a lot. We're gonna go from looking like a solid whatever you want to call this. Hi guys, I'm now at the shower. I figured we would do my hair first because I normally, once I shower and my hair is wet, I have to style it first because it dries really fast. And in order for my products to really set into my hair, um, I have to do it when it's like fresh and wet. I'm going in with this Maui Curl Quench Coconut Oil um, Curly Smoothie stuff. My cousin recommended this to me along with the shampoo and conditioner I showed you guys. And again, after only using this, I think twice now, it has done so much for my hair. I might talk about this on my vlog channel, but I was using this specific product for quite some time and I've noticed it started making my hair fall out. I stopped using it and ever since I've switched over to this product, my hair hasn't been falling out and it's so incredibly soft. It smells so good. This is literally Hawaii in a container. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this all throughout my hair. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to style my hair because I'm trying to not put heat on it and usually when I do a get ready with me or a transformation, I always straighten my hair, which takes me about 45 minutes of hair damage. If you can tell, obviously, like a lot of like this is dead damaged hair that needs to be chopped off, but I'm just too stubborn to do it. But by using the comb, you can kind of tell like up here, this is like what my natural hair is supposed to be like. I'm gonna section half of this side. These front pieces, if you can tell, are like the most dead, I would say, out of my whole entire head because it's where I straighten the most when I'm touching it up. So I have been taking these like front sections and braiding them down just because it protects them and it gets them out of my face. Here. And fun fact, um, I did teach myself like how to braid my hair finally, but I can only braid on top i don't know how to braid underneath which i think on top is like a dutch braid but on other people when i braid their hair it's always underneath so i'm not exactly sure what the technique in that is so now that i look like travis scott i could easily wrap this underneath see i'm still learning like how to style the natural poof in the meantime i'm gonna leave my hair down like this and see just how it dries naturally because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I will say my makeup skills honestly have been lacking. I'm not gonna go full glam today just because that's not, I just haven't been about it. I don't know why. Like I go through these like up and down phases where I wanna do my makeup full foundation, baking, contour, like the whole nine yards. And then there's days where I'm like, eh, concealer is fine. I do say all this and then halfway through my makeup, I realize I'm like going ham. So we'll just see what happens. First things first, I'm moisturizing with some CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Someone commented on my nighttime routine, how there is a difference between a moisturizing lotion and a moisturizing moisturizer. I will say you are very much right. Despite this being a lotion, it does work for my face very well. It's like actually the only product that has worked for my face so well. So I'm just gonna continue to use it. My hair is literally, if you can tell, like already dried. I'm now gonna go in with some primer. This is Maybelline Baby Skin. While that's like setting into my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on lotion everywhere else because like I said, I use this all over my body like it's instructed and it works wonders. Alrighty, 
today I'm feeling more on like the lighter side I don't really want to put on a whole bunch of makeup it's been really hot outside really humid there's actually a hurricane coming supposedly today we're gonna do just some light concealer but we're gonna go for like more of a full coverage because I do have some discoloration going on I'm gonna take my concealer this is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow and I'm just gonna put this where I normally put it and then I'm gonna take my foundation and I'm gonna mix this underneath and on top of my concealer just so I can get a little bit more coverage than usual this foundation is also still very lightweight so it won't feel like I have like anything on my face when I'm outside and we're just gonna blend so yesterday me and Brie were babysitting for this family that she usually babysits for for someone who's constantly preaching that I don't want kids I honestly did not hate it <laughs> which freaks me out because now I'm like oh my god these three little kids are so cute I want three little kids and I think I need to calm down because in order to even do that I have to first find a boyfriend and you know go to that talking dating stage that we all hate for months and then eventually date for like at least a year and then can get engaged and then you know have kids after we get married well my timeline is not exactly lining up to what I thought I would be doing when I was 17 years old because I'm 21 and I wanted to be married and have kids by like 25 like I wanted to start having kids early because I don't want to be like in my 30s trying or like waiting until like before I'm 30 to have my first kid like I want to have my first kid by I'm the time I'm hopefully 25 which is in four years which is crazy because I'm like how am I gonna meet someone in four years and convince them to have a family with me you know everyone's timeline is different and it'll all work out hopefully in the end my parents for example they dated and got married and I think had my sister all within a year which is wild but they've also been together for like almost 20 years now you know some people it just happens and I'm hoping I'm part of that 1% my skin doesn't look that much different but there's a little bit more coverage there my eyebrows are probably like my least favorite thing to do because they just have a mind of their own they really just say you know what Tati we're not a part of your game plan of how you're gonna do your makeup we're not a part of your face at all we are our own mind and body and we will do what we want because they really be doing what they want I'm just gonna fill in the ends a little bit lightly because my hair tends to thin out there I ran into some pictures the other day of me of when I used to do my eyebrows in high school, like probably towards senior year. This is around the time I discovered the Anastasia brow pomade. I abused the hell out of that product. My eyebrows were so like sharp and looked almost too perfect to the point where they looked like they were like tattooed on my face. And then I would go in with the concealer and like do the whole like outlining and shaping. Don't get me wrong, it was like a fun prime time of my life I guess because I was really into makeup then compared to like how my eyebrows look now like I probably prefer the more natural look than over all of that I grabbed two of my favorite palettes this is the soft glam by Anastasia and the tartlet toasted palette by Tarte this color cashmere all over my eyelid just as like a base color and then I'm gonna take like a more orangey red this color sienna and I'm just gonna put it like on the outside i try to stick to like the same color just in like different shades so that way it's like very neutral so i'm gonna take this color handle from my toasted palette so something that i've noticed recently with my life and how things are going since i've turned 21 i have really like mellowed out and i don't know if that's because maybe i turned 21 and something just like kicked inside of me going out and like staying up late and running the streets like things that like i was doing when i was like 18 17 in high school even 19 after i graduated that whole year after if you guys go back to my vlogs like literally my everyday routine was like wake up go hang out with my friends from morning to night, go shopping, go to the beach, like, it was always back-to-back, -back, non-stop. Every day I was with my friends, like, I was never just at home. I turned 21 and you would think that all of that would be heightened and I would be doing it more. Keep in mind, we are in a pandemic, so that could probably influence the fact that I wasn't able to do that. Even during a pandemic, like, I'm not I don't feel the need to do it you know what I mean it's not like I'm like waiting until quarantine and all this is over so I can because I just genuinely don't have a want to and how I'm like this grandma who can't stay up past midnight like last night I literally was like dreading staying up past midnight because I'm like I'm so tired like I just want to go to bed I want to go put my lavender spray on my face I want to put my calm music on like I'm really out here aging I don't know if this is just because quarantine mellowed me out or what's going on but like i just have felt this like switch in me that i just don't really care to do a lot of stuff that i used to care about i just want to spend 
all my time working on content or picking up new hobbies that make me feel good and are very therapeutic and just like a lot of things that are for me you know what I mean and then my friends go out and I get invited and I'm like but like me probably like a year ago or two years ago would have been jumping at the idea of every invite I get like yes 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 I used to be a yes man and now I'm a no man I'm happy I'm doing what makes me happy but I just noticed that recently and I'm like you know Maybe it's, it's not the worst thing. It's not the end of the world that I'm like maturing faster, I guess. I don't know if you want to call it that. I don't know. I just feel so much more serious and like sure of myself and like serious about things that I like and that I care about and that I want to put time into and what is it that I want to make happen for myself. Getting like a more clear idea of like a future that I want to have. Like I'm currently saving for a house. Like, like that's just weird. Like I'm 21 and I'm over here talking about saving for a house because I want to be a homeowner by the time I'm like hopefully 23. Like that's wild. Let me know if any of you guys can relate. I also feel like a lot of my viewers are younger so I don't know how many of you are around my age. But if you are, let me know, you know, what boat are you in? Are you in the same boat as me? Are you still in a different boat? I'm now gonna do mascara. I'm using my Tweezerman eyelash curler. Um, highly recommended. I can't believe I paid $13 for an eyelash curler, to be honest. When I went to Ulta and I was looking at the ones online, like the reviews, everyone was like, this one works out your eyelashes. This one's garbage. This one's this. And I'm like, dude, I didn't think that people took eyelash curlers like that seriously. And then I looked at the reviews for this one and this was the only one that did not have bad reviews. Of course, it was the only one that was $13. I went for it because I am, at the end of the day, a name brand whore, so. I'm using my all-time favorite mascara. This is Urban Decay Perversion. I do buy the mini version though, the travel size, because I believe I'm able to like do my eyelashes a lot better. Maybe it's like the weight distribution throughout the brush, but like I just have such a better grip on this. It's kind of like when you're writing with a pen. Like I write so much better with a pen that has the cap put on the butt versus just ripping off the cap and not writing with the cap on the end, if that makes sense. Like having like that equal weight distribution just helps me write better. Does anyone relate or am I just crazy? I'm gonna put some very light Maybelline Fit Me powder on my face. So I'm just gonna put this under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. Benefit Benetint, this is like the older one. I realized I think they came out with a different applicator and I should probably go buy it because I hate this brush applicator i don't know why it just does not do me justice and then i'm gonna add a tiny bit over my nose because i like the look of like a very flushed and blushed look makeup is done um i'm now gonna get some lip gloss and add some and then we'll move on to outfit alexa what's the weather outside current weather is 93 degrees fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies so i wanted to wear either these i call these my painter pants i got these in california i haven't worn them really since so i think i'm gonna try to wear these today and i'm just gonna go for a basic maybe like olive green tea i feel like this color olive and this blue looks really good together like i think that's the move this is fit number one that i put together so we have the dock on this side and the fila on this side. Oh, I cannot decide. This is terrible. For some reason, I was thinking the filas would look good, but honestly, I don't even know. Either way, I look so short in these pants. Like, I feel like I'm already short. I'm like a solid 5'1", and then I put these pants on with some docks, and I look like I'm 4'11". Just like that, you've made it to the end of the video. So after this, my camera cut out and my SD card acted really weird. So I don't have a clip of me ending this video. So I'm popping in here to say thanks for watching you've made it to the end. I pretty much contemplated in the mirror for like another 30 minutes which shoes to wear and then found out that the plans that we had for dinner with my family got canceled. So I really didn't go anywhere at the end of this. So I literally put my pajamas back on and got back into bed. But the whole process of me getting ready did make me feel better and that was the whole point of it. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. If you want more transformation, get ready with me's. Um, let me know because I definitely enjoy making them. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Adios, amigos. I sounded really high. I'm probably I'm not. <laughs> Probus? I'm... Hi.